that have been released have broke and that is well within what we projected it to be. Now, anybody here knows that any new technology that gets released does have, there's, you know, if you manufacture anything on a grandiose scale, mm. something will break down the line. So it's happened with the iPhone, it's happened with the iPad, it's happened with, you know, Mac computers. I'm just going with Apple because they seem to always have really big tech now. It's happened- well, the issue here is how quickly they try and release things to stay ahead of the curve. Well, and that that that's that's the deal with Apple, and I think it's the same deal with the new, the next gen of consoles. They try and stay ahead of the curve by releasing things too early, and they fuck things up because they're not ready yet. Well, I mean, I'm inclined to agree with you there, but I'm also at the same time, I I think that all technology at some point will fail, whether it fails one yeah. day or whether it fails day three hundred and sixty five. Well, it's such a race now. Yeah. I mean, they want you to buy it. So, I mean, Sony don't want Microsoft to have their no. console out six months. Microsoft don't want Sony to have their console out six months. So when one goes, we're releasing this day, the other goes, well, we're releasing a week earlier or a week later. Whether they're ready or not. Yeah. Whoever it is, I mean, I'm not saying like Microsoft or Sony are, are, are you know, the one who are right in this situation, but whoever was going to say they're going to release, the other is going to say they're going to release earlier. I Whether they're ready or not, they're still going to put it out because they still want those bugs right I, on the initial, you know, release date. Well, no, completely. I don't believe that Sony was ready. No, I don't think either of them are ready. I think they've egged each other on to a point where they have to release. It may be something to do with. And look when it is just before Christmas. Nah, true. I think it's something to do with the massive console cycle. I mean, this is what eight years, and uh, I don't. I don't have a problem with it being eight years. And people say oh, the, the consoles are having a hard time dealing with it. And yeah, Grand Theft Auto Five um, does have a lot of bugs, and as you say, Call of Duty Ghost just seems like it's it's designed to be on a better system. Mm. And you know, the PC is miles and miles ahead of the current gen, and you can play most PC games on low, and it looks better than current gen. But I still don't have a, a terrible problem with current gen games. They could have held these next gen consoles off another year, and I probably wouldn't have cared that much. No. As long as they still have good content. But, I don't know. Stu, are you worried that your PlayStation is not going to work day one? No, because of the 0.04% of it. Um, no, my luck, I'll probably be part of that <laughs> statistic. So, yeah, I'm saying no, and I'll get it out of the box, and it'll actually be an Xbox. Not an Xbox One, an Xbox <laughs> in the box. The original. Now, now 360, just a I've still got one of those box. in the cupboard, just in case. So just in case. So then I'll blame you because you'll have nicked it and you'll have got the PlayStation for them instead. You'll have found a way of being able to switch it round. Do you know what? I'm going to fall back to my N64. I've still got it plugged in just in case everything goes wrong. Yeah, just <laughs> playing on the HDTV just doesn't really oh, work. It's awesome. No, it really isn't. No, don't do it. <laughs> the, I think the right. They're not four point. They're not point four percent. Now I've looked into it. I don't want to get too deep into it because we could sit here and talk conspiracy all goddamn night. But if IGN and Joystick and um, I can't remember who online, there was two people on YouTube. If those four people, those four places had failed consoles, it just seems unlikely that all four of them, I know that there's a massive world out there, but it just seems so unlikely that the four of them... So I jumped on Amazon.com and I looked at their... Um, what do you call it? The, the reviews. Mm-hmm. And you can look at people who have actually uh, Amazon verified, so it means they bought the thing through Amazon. Mm-hmm. And there was a good few hundreds on there that were like, oh, it didn't work. I got it out of the box, didn't work. And now I suppose you can put some of them down to... Uh, what is it? Espionage? <laughs> Industrial <laughs> espionage? You could put them down to that. I could just put it down to people being dicks because you're <laughs> well, more likely true. to go online and say I hate something than go online and say I love something. But I just think that this 0.4% is actually a bit bigger and they're just not You can us. basically throw it out of the window. I mean, there's a very well, but well, not saying there's lies, damn lies and statistics. Yeah. Any, any number that you're given by a big company, you can pretty much ignore it. Yeah, there's, it's there's like, it's, a guy it's like Peter Capaldi on uh, the thick of it, yeah. <laughs> behind everything like that, just going, well, don't, yeah. don't fucking do it, right? Just fucking <laughs> tell him it's not five for fucking percent. <laughs> Flame it on the pedal bin, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So I don't. So Stu's not worried. Nope. He don't worry about anything. No. Nah. Nope. He's a stone cold killer. Yes. Yep. Stu Miller. Stu Miller. A stone cold killer. No. He used to watch Michael Jackson. He really liked Thriller. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. Did uh, so if it breaks day one, what are you going to do? Cry. <laughs> He's like, wait, do you remember the bit in uh, Fifth Element where uh, Corbin Dallas is on the plane and he's got Chris Tucker as Ruby, <laughs> Ruby Rod? And she's yeah. just like, so what are you going to do, Corbin? He's like, um, nothing. That's, that's Stu right there. Yeah. That's 100% Stu. Stu. Stu Miller is Corbin Dallas. Yeah, yes. That makes you Ruby Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Where does that leave me as? Is that are you, are you Lilo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the perfect being. Oh, oh bro. You're not you're that creepy guy. Um, Big batter boom. <laughs> you're that um the I'm Gary Oldman. No, no, you're not you're not Zorg, you're the the wee guy that goes you're David, the wee guy that goes around with the priest. So you're the priest well, in training. I'm, I'm, I'm Lee Evans. <laughs> I always, every single time I watch that, I forget he's in it. Yeah. Hey, do you know, bringing it back to gaming, did anybody play the fifth element game? <laughs> did anybody play it? No. Oh my. I just love that line, though. Bringing it back to gaming. Well, well follows the game. <laughs> uh, the fifth element game was one of the worst pieces of shit I've ever played. No. It was terrible, but it was only about... A year and a half ago, I learned how to get out the first level. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't that's even you know there was a game. Yeah, yeah. It was released with the game. It was released with the game. It was released with the film. It kind of loosely followed the plot. Uh, there was loads of those kind of... The, the Independence Game Day... Independence Game Day? What? Independence Day game was bloody awful as well. I think PlayStation 1 probably ha- had the most ratio since the bloody Atari. <laughs> was it Atari 5600? Um, for bloody awful movie tie-in games. Uh, what was the... I remember the Atari I played Lethal Weapon 2 and I didn't even remotely follow the plot. You just walked around warehouse and warehouse looking kind of slightly like an 8-bit version of Riggs shooting things. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. But next gen. They we're not talking about 8-bit. We're talking about next gen. Yeah, they're going to be working exclusively in 8-bit. That would be... That'd be something. If uh, you're looking at indie games, you're looking pretty much at the next gen of 8 bit. <laughs> well, let's Minecraft or Minecraft. Yeah, one of the biggest bloody games this generation has been Minecraft. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's it's essentially a crappy looking game. Mm-hmm. But people love but, it. But you can do pretty much whatever you want in it. Well, kind of. I hate it. I just, I just don't get I hate building shit. I just I'm not even started on it because, frankly, it's something that either you're going to hate it or you're going to like it so much you'll never stop playing it. Oh, you would I'm not, never stop I'm playing not happy it. with either option, frankly. So. I know you would never stop playing You'd start building proper shit. You'd build, like, Serenity or something like that. <laughs> I'd be like, what are you on? I'm like, day 100. And I'm like, all right, cool. Where did you sleep? I didn't. I didn't go to work. I stopped <laughs> yeah. going to work. No going to bed yet. I'm just building, I'm building the Enterprise to scale. I've got balls of piss and four pint milk <laughs> bottles here. Just all around me. Stu, you're a Minecraft fan, aren't you? Was. Was, right, okay. Christ. Yeah, it's like kicking an addiction and I managed to survive. I went cold turkey, sitting rocking backwards and forwards in my bedroom for about a week. So fuck you for bringing it back up again, Al. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will you be Bad ba- memories, bastard. Will you be buying it for PlayStation 4? Nope. Did you buy it for the Xbox or PS3? Nope. No. Yes. Did you? Yes, I did. Oh, uh, yeah. Again, you bring back memories. I thought I, I, I pushed that in the back of my mind. I'm just saying, if you play it on PC and then you, you play bust. it on Xbox or PlayStation, it, it's like the worst experience in the world. Because in PC, you just you map all your buttons and you're really easy to go. On the Xbox, you just like scroll, 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 right, put in a block. Scroll, 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 put in a block. I'm like, fucking, uh, I'm There are some to- games that should never go to a console. At yeah. least it's better than playing it on iOS where you just go, I fucking hate this thing and throw your device out the window. <laughs> Can you play it on iPhone? Yes. Oh, that'd be the worst. There's some games that just 
they just don't translate well to a very small screen. Uh, Walking Dead is one of them, and uh, Minecraft, I really don't see you playing that. Imagine playing fucking a Call of Duty game on my wee screen. It just, oh, it's just stupid. Did you end up getting a Vita? No. No. Uh, I'm not that sad. Just wondering if you bought one, because I, I remember you were going to buy one when it was like, you got that crazy deal for 15 quid. Yeah, and then they laughed at everybody for falling for it. Well, you know, I I honestly, as, you know, consumer rules and stuff, I think they should have just gave you it for that price. Yep. But um, that was just, that's a lot of woods for you. And then I would have instantly sold it. Would you, would you have sold it online? Yeah. Yeah. I've noticed that there's PlayStation 4s and Xbox Ones on eBay just now, and they're going for ridiculous prices. There was some stupid idiots who were selling their day one pre-order receipts mm. for like a hundred pound for an Xbox One receipt. So you still got twenty pound off the console, but you're still paying like seventy nine quid before for the receipt. Desperate. Do you know when the iPhone five S, like the newest one, when that was released, there was actually people in the line for it. They were selling their space in the line. That's fucking insane like if you if you yeah. didn't get a pre-order just fucking buy it when it comes out it's not that long you don't need it you don't desperately need it there's no if you desperately needed it you'd have fucking pre-ordered it fucking man up people that's basically they, all i got to say on that other could have just walked into my shop and bought one because we had a few in really <laughs> I, I wonder how many xbox ones or ps4s you're going to get come january february so many probably. How many Apparently stolen Xbox pitiful. Ones and PS4s are you going to get in? At least there's a certain amount of honesty in stealing those things. Uh, it's like, um, cause, Wait a minute, that didn't make any sense. Da, I don't know. I, I like um, I like your works lax. Boy, you got the receipt, the original receipt for it? No, that's all right. We'll get twelve quid for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's a four hundred pound console. Yeah, we'll get you twelve quid for it. No questions yeah. asked. Oh, fucking all right, I'll take twenty. No, it's down at ten. Oh. You didn't make your decision fast enough. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> oh, fair enough, fair enough. Right. So the PlayStation it came out and they said, Oh, things are broke, zero point four percent, blah 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 blah. And then all the Xbox fanboys were like, ah, <laughs> PlayStation doesn't work, guys, oh fuck. And uh, they forget about the Red Ring of Death thing. And then uh, Xbox One gets released and there's hard drive problems and there's hard disk problems. And they're all like, well, yeah, of course there is, because, you know, all new technology has problems. Because they both rushed it. Yeah, they, they both to turned try and Russians. compete with each other, instead of just releasing it when they were ready and, you know, letting the chips fall where they may, no, they have to compete and they have to rush it and they have to beat each other to the fucking post. And look what happens. Neither of them work properly. Nah. Big surprise. Of course, of course, I knew this was going to happen. That's why exactly. I buy a launch t- console. Um, right. And Stu's the only one here that's stupid enough to have bought one. <laughs> Hello. I will, I, I will say something, Stu. It's not as if you... It's not the most expensive thing you could buy. No. Like, it's not the cheapest either, but... Oh, I mean, 350 quid is, yeah. is not... If, if the console works day one, it is an investment. And it's, that's yeah. the one thing. It is a proper investment. And I have a PlayStation that is never fucking broke. And I've never heard of many PlayStations breaking. Once they work, they tend to work. Sony do quite well on that end. But, uh, you know, it, the Xbox I went through four. So I'm still on my first. I don't, you must have got just one of the ones that yeah. just works for some strange reason. <laughs> All right, next, so that's the next gen. That's, that's what you can expect. You can expect either a broken console or one that works. You can expect probably... I, they're saying if you pre-order it now, you'll still get it by Christmas. I don't believe that. But um, and they say 0.4 percent probability of it failing. No, I'm saying 50 50. Yeah, yeah. There's a chance it'll work. There's a chance it won't work. Yeah. yeah, I think it's more on the Xbox One because have you seen any videos of um of the noise that it makes? The <laughs> that really horrible scratching noise that it's been making when you put a disc in. Yeah, it's, it, it sounds yeah. like Chewbacca. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's getting his nuts caught in the door it is really <laughs> that bad but yeah the the i know sony's maybe's got one or two problems with theirs but with the xbox one the amount of problems coming out of it there's that there's the, the update which is causing the consoles to crash there's the console not even switching on booting up from 
even before you even actually try to clear anything. There's static noise coming through the headset constantly.